So this is a pump that's been bought in by um, a local customer. It's been in for about 20 years. Um, I was working off a spring which has now dried up through other sources um, temporarily so it's going to move into a more reliable river. Um, while he's doing the pipe work and infrastructure for that, he's brought the pump in just so we can have a service of it. Um, and we thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you some of the differences that we're making on the metal pumps now. So to start with, we'll go with the pressure vessel. Um, this is one of our one of the old ones we used to put on. Pressure's already out of it. Always take it off slowly. Um, so one of the things now is our new pressure vessels have a reinforced bottom on. So pop that on there. Here we are, here's a demonstration of the newer one. So we have this reinforced plate on the bottom. Um, as you find, found that was uh, a point of high wear on them and they were failing down there. Um, we also have reinforced on the insides as well. But uh, yeah, that's how our pressure vessels are set up. Um, <coughs> so this pump will be getting a new one as well, so we put that to the side. Um, this one's also been off a one and a half inch supply um, because it was a spring and it was low flow. Um, you can see it's also been a little acidic, so all the, all the brass is uh, corroded a bit and got, got a little bit green. <laughs> um, so what we're probably going to do, take them all off, give them a wire, well, give them a wire brush to probably get them off first because they're quite stiff. Um, and yeah, go from there. As you can see, we, we did manage to get this moving. Um, we just had a bit of a bit of a wire brush and a bit of WD-40, um, which is again why we do it out. Why we do it out of bronze, you can actually get it going again um, because it doesn't corrode as much as steel. We don't really seize up as much. Um, so you see these old pieces. Um, one of the issues we have is you can see the marks on here. People put the old uh, the old Stilsons on there, and they'll uh, sometimes they'll cramp them up. They'll crimp them down so you may even damage the threads um, so something we're doing now to get around that is we've got these little flats on the sides um, and all the new pump kits will be coming with these tools so we have a c-spanner now for this so it doesn't tighten up too tight um, and again they do have rubber seals in so they don't have to go too tight you'll only get so tight using this um, so that basically sets your, sets your tightness on there um, and it makes it easier to get off then when you do come to service it. Um, the kit also comes with a couple other bits. So we'll have this rod and this bar here as well. Um, we'll come to them a bit later. So <laughs> now to get the rest of it apart. <laughs> so um, certainly all our new pumps come with a stainless steel TPC here as well. Um, Got to mention that a minute ago when we were talking about the pressure vessels. Um, but yeah, we don't recommend these plastic ones. Um, pretty sure we didn't supply it with this either, but there we are. <laughs> So now I've got the adjuster colours off. Um, we did put some WD-40 on these beforehand, as you may have seen. Um, again, all nice and green. See that one's where we've wire brushed it a bit, so it still comes up nice. Um, the next thing now to carry on taking the pump apart is to get some WD-40 or something like that into the exhaust on the top, so you can get the seal off. Um, probably won't be able to see it from there, but. The idea is to get enough WD-40 in here and move it around so it gets coats the seal and the barrel basically. Um, that way you can actually push the barrel through the seal uh, and then take the seal out afterwards, which is what I'll do now. So. We're going to try this on the bench. Oh, this is actually missing a spacer. <laughs> I 
Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I thought it would have been. I haven't seen it fall out anywhere. It may have fallen out. Um, oh, oh it's in there. there it yeah. is. No, it's stuck. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I could try this on the bench. Normally, we have to put it on the floor and put a bit more weight on it, but um, we'll try it on the bench first. Don't be trying to put a lot more, a bit more WD-40 on it, um, just to help it soak in um, and move and free that valve inside. Um, also, getting these O-rings off will help. So these ones are pretty worn and a little bit stuck. So do that one. Get the one off the other side as well. Just give it another little spin. off of the first one <laughs> there are uh, two ridges on here um, so we've got it off this first one you can see where the valve has been sitting all these years um, so we'll now try get it over the second one there we are so that's the barrel that's how it is inside is where your water comes through and out the top to go over your valve and um, see very green so now what we'll do I'll show you in here so this is you see the valve sat in there now so now we can just reach in and pull that one out so that's actually not too bad I don't know when this one was last changed um, obviously it's a bit grubby and stuff but actual wear wise not bad at all probably actually go for quite a bit longer that about that valve so <laughs> but we'll set that to one side now I've got this apart and um, I'll show you in here you can see the valve seat in there um, so stainless steel valve seat um, you see it's a little worn where it's all shiny um, if you can see that in there um, but that's got plenty of life left in it um, so yeah a tiny bit of wear but for 20 years that's you know that's more acceptable to carry on so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this take these end parts out in a minute um, and then we'll go away and we'll take this um, and just give it a good clean um, and bring it all back and actually put it all back together because I think all the parts will be um, serviceable again so I'm gonna try this with the new tools so WD-40 first so this rod tool here is actually for inserting into the here. Um, there's little holes. Basically, it's another one of these pieces further in there. So um, take that, slot it down through the holes, press on it, and we'll move the non-return valve in the end. Um, so you can see it moving up there. There we are. So. This is a, that's actually a speaker there, that's, that's not one whole piece, but um, it's decided it wants to be today. And then, so that bar goes up through the inside here, into the holes, which will then push up that normal return valve as it's done there. We then reach for this bar, which is to go in and just hook on that normal return valve and bring it out like that. So, this non return valve again this must have this is probably serviced um, valves were probably changed for about 2017 ish something like that so this is actually fine to go again really um, but we'll probably put in new valves anyway so and there you go you have this one piece left in there that can stay in that's fine so now what we're going to do is just go and take this down and give it a good clean up and come back with it all nice and shiny to go back in so this is the new barrel oh, I'll say new barrel this is the old barrel all cleaned up um, you see we've machined these flats on it I'll show you what they're for in a minute um, we've got a bit of pitting from the corrosion 
but the valve seat here um, should still be fine um, because the valve is rubber it will still seal on that same with the o-ring lines um, they're still fine so we're gonna put this barrel back in and it should last another 20 years so I've already put the rubber in um, that's just again it's just a little bit of WD-40 on that push that in so it's in there and we pop it this way so you've got the curve back facing you and then we're gonna go so these speckled holes towards the opposite side of the exhaust so we'll pop that in there flip it up so now you've got your valve sitting over it like that so we shall just a little push just make sure you're lined up still a little push over should slide if you've got enough WD-40 you should slide nicely on there um, and there we are done that's your valve now in you pump now ready to be put back together so next thing is what we're going to do we're going to pop these pieces that make up the non-return valve in so they simply slot in the end of there like that next we have our new non-return valve that's also going to push in there curve, curve, curve back first so you've got the flat side facing out we then pop this spigot in that did come apart in the end <laughs> a little stiff but it got there um, so that then sits in there make sure it's in nicely next piece in just again same as the first one that went in hang on a minute because this is a bit corroded I don't think I brushed this off enough so I'll try that again try to pop that in there we go slides on there you see it looks bigger there um, now there is a spacer. This one's got itself stuck to this one's got itself stuck to the rubber there. So I'm gonna go grab a new one two seconds. So here we are, new spacer. This one literally just sits in that end there. What we do next is our O-rings. So here are some newer O-rings. See the old ones are here. They're a bit worn or flat on the inside. So we have our new ones. They literally just slide over, just roll them on. That space will keep falling out until you've got an end on. So you can leave it out for a minute. Um, we'll then put our collars on. So, just going to put the O-ring on a bit more. And then these collars, see they just spin back on. This is, what, this is how it should be. Um, again, this has been, probably it's been around for 20 years, this one and going. So, um, yeah, and they still slide on nice and freely, which is why we use the, the brass, um, the brass fittings. So just gonna do these up a bit more. That's when the O-rings are coming in there, it's getting tighter. That's the O-rings on. So now I'll pop this spacer back in, don't forget it. Um, we then have our new machine piece here. So this goes on the end and just slides on again nice and easily as it should do. Um, as long as you haven't squash the threads um, they do have these have got rubber seals in as well in the end I didn't show you in that one but this one's got a little o-ring there um, <coughs> so we'll pop this one on this is the input end so here we are there you go on there like that now the little flat that we machined on the barrel in there just a bit of a little flat there what that's for is so you take your 
rod here with a little curve on the end. This then, I'm just going to rotate the bar out a bit. This then slots in. So, let's try to do it so you can see it. So, this then slots in between the pump body or exhaust, um, between that lip basically, which is between, sits between that and that flat we just we machined. So, I'm going to get that in there. And basically, that locks our barrel in. So we can come and use our C-spanner and actually tighten our end knots like that. Again, these don't have to be too tight because um, they do have rubber seals in. So that will do. Um, again, this new C-spanner has got a good, good angle on it. So it should make it nice and easy to do up these end pieces. Don't mind the barrel slipping there, that's because I didn't put the tool in right. So I'm going to go around to the other flap. Just get that in there. Okay. <clears throat> so once they're all tightened up, that's our pump there. So we then got our metal T piece. Um, I'll just demonstrate for a minute, but this is our so yeah, metal T piece, this is where your pressure vessel goes. Um, also got a steel adapter there as well, or adapter, say joiner. Um, so that will go on there. Um, we're also going to supply this steel ball valve with it as well, because um, one again, one it came with didn't have that. So yeah, stainless steel ball valve comes in. This comes as standard in all our kits. So again, when you're putting the ball valve or any end pieces on, you can use this bar to lock lock your barrel in like that. So you're not spinning around, so you can just get a good good thread on it. <coughs> so yeah, bar in so you can screw on all the other bits. Of course, if you do want the barrel to move, like when you're then putting your pump on, you can take that out and let the barrel spin freely so when you're putting all this on the whole barrel turns um, and makes the whole install nice and simple um, when this does go back in we will be going with it to visit the new site um, so that's on so what I'm going to do is take that out let the whole barrel spin around make sure we have a nice upright valve like that so there we have it that's our pump obviously that needs to put on properly, um, which we'll come to do. But yeah, so that's our nice refurb pump, 20 years old, still predominantly all original parts apart from these end pieces, um, just because they've been, they have been damaged by uh, by the Stilsons. So, but we'll be supplying brand new kit, these C-spanners as well for our customer. Um, and yeah, stick with us, um, subscribe to our channel and um, follow us on our social medias as well to keep up to date so we can update you when we do go and put our installs in um, and with a lot more exciting news on its way later this year next.